Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a Lego room tour. Let's jump right into it. Above the door here, I have two pictures from the Lego calendar as well as this one picture from Silly Brick Picks. Below that on the actual door is another picture as well as this Hot Wheels rack that I actually used to store Lego minifigures for my BrickLink store. Off to the side here is this built-in wardrobe into the room. As you can see along the hallway here, I have a bunch of posters. Most of them are just Lego movie posters, but I've also started to add a couple, you know, notes and some Lego stickers, as well as the light switches. Off to this side here, I actually have my all, most of my BrickLink store inventory. These are all the bags that I have in my store, and they go up to a lot, like 685 out of 999. I have a poster for the Lego Brickumentary, and I also have these two whiteboard board with calendars for our like, upcoming video schedule. I made this little picture frame here to show all the different please do not touch signs that I have from conventions. Now we'll start to take a look at my Lego parts. Up here on the wall is this little parts drawer where I keep all my slope pieces. As you can see I have all normal regular strokes the slopes on this side. Each bin has its own color and on this side I have the same except they're all inverted slopes and they all have their own color again. Underneath that little container I have a shelf where all my customizing supplies are. It's very messy right now because I have to think of a better method to organize it. Down below that I have all of these different storage containers and they are used to store all like the custom elements and stuff like that in my BrickLink store. Down here I just have a shelf of a bunch of different parts. These are the parts that I don't use as often. Some examples are like the overflow parts that I have too many parts of in other drawers, Duplo parts, and wheel parts. There are many different par uh, parts in these drawers, but I just don't have time to go into them all. Right here I have my building table. As you can see, I have some more Lego pictures there from the calendars, and then this, this big, big building space so I can build like sets and mocks and stuff like that. Under this table here, I have a variety of different sorting things for my personal collection. Here at this color drawer, I just have a bunch of different parts. These are the parts that I use most often, like plates and bricks modified, all my leaf parts, and so much more. In this smaller container here is all circle parts. As you can see, I have one by one circle studs here, circle bricks here, as well as circle plates and otter circle things there. In this little stack on container here, I have all my tiles. And as you can see, every tile is divided out into color. And again, I have some tiles that I have like overflow quantities of in the overflow bin. In these bottom drawers here, I just have a variety of different things. The main thing are the plates. I have all of my one by whatever plates, all my two by whatever plates, and all by three and above by whatever plate. This is the same spot where I also keep my printed tiles. And as you can see, all the tiles are turned over so I can see exactly what tile it is. At the back here, I have this storage container just to divide the tiles more that I have a larger quantity of. In this section here, I also have this general like vehicles parts section, as well as two drawers of parts that haven't been sorted yet. Under the table here, I have this emergency brick separator, which is glued to what like, the plate is glued to the table. So if I ever need a brick separator in a hurry, I can use this one. This container here are four bricks. As you can see, I have one drawer for each different color of bricks, except some of the bottom drawers because I have so many different, or I don't have very many of that color, so I just don't need a full drawer for them. Here I actually have a lay and go bag full of just loose Lego bricks. This bin here more or less is for my BrickLink store. At the top drawer here I have just like random instruction manuals. I have all the different sets that I have for sale. I have all the shipping supplies that I could use like bubble envelope, or not bubble envelope, but bubble wrap. And then in the bottom I just have Ziploc bags. Next to this I have just a bookshelf with all BrickLink parts on it. But as you can see on this side I just added a bunch of stickers and pictures. Under the table here I have all these boxes full of BrickLink store parts. As you can see, I have over 146 boxes. I also have this small table here with just a bunch more boxes full of random pieces sorted by color. I also have boxes of instruction manuals and then just some loose empty containers. And over here is my second desk, which I use a lot for business related stuff like BrickLink and selling stuff online. In this container, it's all BrickLink stuff again. I have this bin of just general supplies like business cards and like scissors. I have this bin of large bubble envelopes. I have this bin of smaller bubble envelopes, as well as a whole bin of Lego bags. Right here, I keep this little plexiglass shipping estimator. 
Again, under this table, I have my scale and my tape, as well as the heat sealer I use for the BrickLink packages. I have this bin full of stuff that I need to make videos on. It's a very tough bin. And I also have this drawer full of more Lego bags, and then the bottom drawer is full of parts to be sorted. Off to the side here, I have all the tapes that I need with packing tape and the green tape. And I have one hook down there for scissors, but I have lost my scissors. I also have two business cards stamped, or like just taped there, and I use those when I'm doing a haul video and need to cover up my addresses. Here I have my computer, and I have boxes with all the overflow lots for my Brooklyn store. Right here is my studio table, and underneath there I just have some more Lego pieces that need to be sorted. I also have a bin full of packages that I've received in the mail, as well as my garbage can. On top of the studio here, I just have a package that needs to be opened in the video, and all my lighting equipment. Up here at the front of the wardrobe, I have these two Lego patents. I have the big Lego head and a couple other things for my Brickling store. And I also have these coasters, which I have yet to put away because I just filmed the video on them. I have every single collectible minifigure series paper part there, with all the minifigures checked off that I have. Partly hidden up by my studio, I have this Lego Hobbit poster, and over here I have this huge Lego movie display. This thing is huge and it goes all the way to the floor. In this little cutout section where it was actually from the scanner at Walmart, I have this little minifigure display case full of a bunch of minifigures that I really like. Up here on this minifigure display case I just have a variety of different things. On the top there I just have the vintage minifigure collection from Toys R Us, the Slade Children minifigure, the charity one, and some custom minifigures. At the first shelf here I have a variety of different custom Lego minifigures from conventions or events or people like that. The second shelf, I have all of my custom minifigure products, like the subscribe brick and just some other minifigures. The third shelf is just kind of miscellaneous. The fourth shelf is a bunch of Series 14, or not a bunch, but five Series 14 minifigures, the only five that I have. And the fifth shelf is all of the sig figs that I have. Above all this, I also have this huge minifigure poster that represents like the Rockefeller Center in New York City. As I previously mentioned in this video, this is my first deck here, desk, the main desk where I do all my personal collection stuff, like building mocks, building sets, and stuff like that. Over here is my LEGO City, which you can see in my le latest LEGO City update, and over here is my second desk, which I use a lot for business related stuff like BrickLink and selling stuff online. Lining every single shelf in my, or every single wall space, it's free in my LEGO room, are these LEGO shelves. And I plan on doing a separate video for each of the shelves, so you can check a playlist in the cards here. As of watching this, if it's right, at, at, right after it's uploaded, there are no videos in it yet, so just stay tuned. Where the, the shelf where my computer monitor sits, I have all my, what I consider to be more, a little bit more rare sets, or harder to find sets that I had a hard time finding. I also just had some custom things that were, that are not available for sale in very many places or customized for me. Up here I have my Lego Movie set, sh set shelf. I have all the different Lego Movie sets that I actually have on display here. Some of them, like the city related ones, are actually just in my city, but the non-city ones are right here, except for of course that one because it's a really tall set and this is not a very tall space. Over here I have like all my poly bags as well as all my mixels. This shelf here is like all the different Lego airplanes and helicopters that I have. I have a lot of them. And the final shelf on this side is where I store all my Lego books, as well as all the boxes from like the Lego minifigure boxes, as well as all the different Lego subscription boxes. In the center of the room I have this really bright light, and I have this Lego movie blanket, which unfortunately is probably going to have to come down soon because it interferes with my city. On the wall here I have different pictures of Lego creations that I captured when I was in New York City. Right here I have a shelf just kind of full of random different sets and stuff like that. I have these two stack on containers full of Lego minifigure parts and then I have all my different Scooby Doo sets right here. Up here I have a bunch of different houses and buildings that don't really fit in my city as well as some micro builds. I also have some more random sets over here. I have this entire shelf full of hundreds of different Lego collectible minifigures. All the collectible minifigures that I own are on this shelf, except for the most recent Series 14 series. Up here I just have this airplane hanging from the ceiling, 
as well as an old Ellen Lego mod. I have a variety of other different sets up here. And as you can see, I have the studios for some of my Ask Brick and other videos like that. Up here I just have some more custom Lego products, you know, brick sticks and stuff like that. And then on the end of here I have a display case for Lego poly bags. I myself am very proud of how my room looks, I'm proud of the way I organize it, and I'm just proud of it in general. You'll have to stay tuned on my channel, and you'll have to subscribe, so the next couple hundred videos I do, I will upload another LEGO Room Tour. I attempt to do these every hundred videos, but sometimes the timing's just not. So stay tuned, because I hope to do these as many, much as I can, because I'm constantly changing my LEGO Room. Thank you so much for watching my LEGO Room Tour. Thanks so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 LEGO video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe for all LEGO all the time, click the subscribe brick and you'll subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more of our previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there containing all our videos. If you want to see more Brick Lover 18, head on over to BrickLover18.com where you'll find the links to our Twitter and our Instagram and our Brick Club. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like on this video as well as a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe brick. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have a great day.